Brother Mutant sounds like what Hulk Hogan would call himself if he were a mutant. Although they are still interesting on their own, being the amalgamation of five mighty mutants, they are an unstoppable force in his home universe of Earth-127. This gestalt entity was defeated by the Exiles and a group of Wolverines from various universes. The Exiles is one of the coolest series written under Marvel, and the story of Brother Mutant is certainly one of the most interesting as well. In this video, we're going to discuss Brother Mutant's origin story from issue number 85 to their end in issue number number 86, the role of the old and new exiles in defeating this monstrosity, and after that, fun stuff. We're going to talk about Brother Mutant's powers, abilities, and parameters on the power scale to put in perspective just how powerful they were. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Origin Story of Brother Mutant and the New Exiles Exile Number 85 The Exiles are a ragtag group of superheroes gathered from their separate realities to deal with various threats to Earths across the multiverse. Blink, Sabretooth, Longshot, Spider-Man 2099, Power Princess, and Heather Hudson undertake missions from their base of operations, the Crystal Palace, an observatory overlooking the countless realities of the multiverse. Recently, after chasing the mutant Proteus through many dimensions and losing their ally Mimic, they went a battle against the Soviet Union from Heather Hudson's world just when Sabretooth's talus disappears, and they get fired by the being called Time Broker. Meanwhile, in the middle of nowhere, and no win, Wolverines from across the multiverse are pulled in, and as they look at each other in curiosity, the Time Broker appears out of thin air and introduces them to each other. Patch, from Earth-181, plays against both sides in the lawless city known as Madripoor. Zombie Wolverine, his reality having been taken over by a plague turning everyone into flesh-eating zombies. Albert the Wolverine, Cyborg Clone, and LCD, Android from Earth 5211, created and tethered together to destroy Wolverine. Weapon X from Earth 520, just had the adamantium skeleton implant. Young James Howlett from Earth 1880, who very recently discovered his mutant powers. Lastly, Logan of the Days of Future Past timeline, whose world has been taken over by the Sentinels, who killed or enslaved all mutants and superhumans, calling them the New Exiles. The Time Broker then gives them little information before sending them out to Earth 127. They soon discover they're in the remains of Phoenix, Arizona, as they banter, talk about the zombie Wolverine needing a breath mint, and pick on James's nightshirt. The talus equipped on Logan's wrist emanates crimson energy, which engulfs them all and gives them the much-needed objective of their mission to eliminate Brother Mutant. In this world, Magneto and her Brotherhood of Mutants took over Earth. In their plan to rule over the planet, they wish to make Magneto stronger by fusing Wolverine into her body. They caught Wolverine in a magnetic bubble, and Scarlet Warlock used his hex powers to transfer his adamantium skeleton to Magneto. But of course, things went wrong, and all the mutants present, Magneto, Wolverine, Quicksilver, Mesmero, and Scarlet Warlock were combined to create the abomination, Brother Mutant. They were never meant to exist, and now they seek to kill every non-mutant on Earth. As the Wolverines recover from the Flash and discuss the upgraded Wolverine they have to kill, they're confronted by many, many more Wolverines, who in Wolverine fashion all come out and call them Bub. Turns out they were only the newest Wolverine squad. The Time Broker had been doing this for a long time and failed so far, and as they start fighting, it soon becomes evident that they're all mind-controlled. Before James ends up dead in that brawl, Logan pulls him to safety and attempts to communicate using the talus. As they get cornered by the mind-controlled Wolverines, both prepare to make a last stand just when they get teleported into the Crystal Palace. After some consideration, the insectoid aliens, known as Time Breakers, decided to accept Logan's request to plan a proper mission before going in to fight the threat. Soon, the aliens tell them of their plan of sending in multiple Wolverines. Having failed so far, they briefly mention the old exiles, which had been successfully operated for more than a solar year. The algorithm for the current problem stated, Wolverine has the solution, which is why they had been brought in without regard to any planning or strategy. Department H, Canada, Earth 3470. The old exiles discuss their plan of action since they're now retired and wonder if the Time Breakers hired a replacement by now. They're soon interrupted by intruders, which end up being none other than Logan and young James. Logan informs the heroes of the situation and requests their help in saving all the Wolverines from Brother Mute. Meanwhile, back in Phoenix, Patch gets incapacitated, and the Wolverine thralls carry him to meet Brother Mutant. Brother claims himself to be the perfect form of Wolverine and uses Mesmero's power to enthrall Patch. The Defeat of Brother by the Old and New Exiles Exiles 
Number 86. In Phoenix, Arizona, Albert and LCD recover from the brawl, and Elsie confirms that Brother Mutant has enthralled them all. They hear noises nearby and find zombie Wolverine with his belly full of dead Wolverines. Elsie makes a disgusted face as he happily mentions he ate six alternate Wolverines. Ready to leave, the trio soon come across Patch, enthralled unbeknownst to them. Zombie Wolverine pays the price of being too close by getting decapitated by Patch. LCD carries away Zombie's head, but gets held by their tether. As Albert Albert tries to make time for her to run away. Fortunately, Elsie becomes free to make her escape, but Albert's cybernetic body gets shredded apart by Patch for her to be able to. In the Crystal Palace, the Time Breaker aliens make amends with Heather Hudson, and she uses the Reality Index to get information on Brother Mutant. Back in the Orpheum Theater, Phoenix, Brother proudly tells their origin story and then gets to why they chose to be called Brother. Wolverito sounded like a Taco Bell menu item, and Magnarin sounded like something to spread on toast, not Bub, as one of the Wolverines watching exclaimed happily, but Brother Mutant. They raise their arms and scream no more humans as their plan, and the Wolverine thralls raise their arms to cheer for them. Meanwhile, Sabretooth and the Exiles get information from Heather. Brother plans on loading their army up on a fleet of buses and heading to Vegas, and various other cities afterward. Nearby, LCD hides with Zombie's head, and he tells her to throw him out to confront Patch. Not soon after, Patch comes out of hiding, claiming how easy it was to find her, carrying a rotten melon all around. Lucky for them, Sabretooth and Power Princess make short work of Patch and save the duo. Farin places the final bus in place, and Brother Mutant proudly quips about gas prices and uses their powers to levitate the buses to fly to Vegas. Blink stops them, to which they respond by throwing the buses full of Wolverines at her. Using their powers together, they prove too much for Blink. Her allies, Spider-Man and Longshot, Brother could run circles around them. Sabretooth concludes that they need Elsie to soften Brother up if they're going to do any lasting damage to them. Fortunately for the heroes, Brother gets distracted by the exiles, and in their hubris fails to notice behind the scenes. Sabretooth prepares a fastball special as he throws Elsie and Zombie's head towards Brother. Elsie had decided she had denied her prime directive for long enough, and as she gets close enough to Brother, she self-destructs and overcomes Brother's healing factor. Within the small window of opportunity, Old Man Logan makes a sacrificial move, leaping at Brother and sending his claws through their heart. Brother tries to dodge the attack, but they're held in place by Albert, and in the end, Brother barely comes out alive. A burst of energy erupts from Brother's chest and vaporizes Logan. Old Man Logan sacrifices and rages young James, who extends his bone claws and slashes brother to death. Back in the Crystal Palace, Morph terrorizes the insectoids by morphing into an insecticide spray bottle, while the exiles talk with the Time Breakers about the next mission powers and abilities. Alright, let's get to the fun part. In general, the character initially seems underwhelming since the Exiles and Wolverines trounce them. The nuance is that Brother Mutant not only contained the five mutants positives, but also their negatives. And I think that was the main reason for their downfall. Brother Mutant has only had one appearance in comics so far, so they don't have a history of anecdotes like the characters they were created from. I'm going to list out the mutants who were combined and figure out how strong an ideal Brother Mutant would be. From finding information about Earth-127, all five of the mutants' abilities and powers are seemingly the same as those from Earth-616. Magneto, recently confirmed to be an Omega-level mutant. Magneto, aka Max Eisenhardt, is one of the most powerful beings on Earth-616, and the feminine Magneto is implied to be just as powerful on Earth-127. A skilled strategist in combat, he has built an automated underground complex that is said to make Reed Richards or Tony Stark proud. His command over electromagnetic energy has been proven time and time again, with feats like holding a celestial together, manipulating the organic iron in the human body to even warp the adamantium bonded to Wolverine. Wolverine. The Wolverine, once known as James Howlett, is an alpha-level mutant in most universes. His relative powers and abilities vary greatly due to the broad degree of artistic variation by writers and artists. In general, he is known for his uncanny ability to survive almost anything due to his regenerative healing factor. Having lived for hundreds of years, he has mastered nearly all forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat on Earth and leverages it using his bone claws which were later enhanced with adamantium, along with the rest of his bones during the Weapon X program. Scarlet Warlock slash Witch, a Nexus being on Earth-616. The Scarlet Witch, or Wanda Maximoff, is one of the most powerful beings in general. On Earth-127, Scarlet Warlock appears to have the same powers without the extra advantages that the 616 version has, and is masculine. Scarlet Witch's power knows no bounds, and Stephen Strange famously quoted how fragile the mind of a person with reality-altering powers must be. Her command, or the lack thereof, over her reality-altering powers has even created diverging timelines, the most influential being the House of M event.
Quicksilver. Pietro remains mostly the same throughout the multiverse, and on Earth-127, he has similar strength compared to a 616 alternative. Catching an arrow in the air from a standing start and sprinting across the Atlantic Ocean are just an afterthought for this superhuman. When he was enhanced with Isotope E, he could outrun Thor's lightning bolt, and as such, the upper limits on his speed are unknown. Mesmero, Earth-127, one of the most powerful hypnotists. Vincent seems to be similar to his 616 counterpart. His powers allowed him to control everyone except the most powerful telepaths. Only with eye contact, illusions, tampering with memories, and creating false memories are a few of the tools in his belt. When he was enhanced during the Weapon X program, he could merely look at a group of people and control them all. A brother mutant capable of using their powers could easily go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roman the Accuser while struggling to fight someone like Victor Von Doom or Stephen Strange. Unfortunately, they would be easy pickings for Apocalypse and Thanos. It's unfortunate how easily they were subdued, but it's worth noting that the reason the Time Breakers concluded using Wolverines was the same reason why Brother Mutant could have been unstoppable, the regenerative healing factor. In general, the healing factor is a very powerful ability because it turns any fight into a battle of attrition. The enemy is forced to end the fight fast or risk losing their stamina and power while the other person regenerates and returns to normal. Although there are ways to combat it, the most notable being dealing enough blows in a short period to overpower the healing and close out the engagement. This weakness has been exploited before by various enemies. And who better to deal with a healing factor than a gang of berserkers with a healing factor of their own, the Wolverines? Most of them had the advantage of having fought their nemesis. Sabretooth, who comes with a healing factor of his own. They knew better than to let Brother recover from their blows, and their gambit worked when Elsie's self-destruction greatly weakened Brother and let Logan weaken them further, to be finished by the young James Howlett. It is also worth noting that destroying Wolverine was the prime directive for the androids LCD and Albert, so the explosive payload on them must have been capable of inflicting some serious damage. As for Brother, they could not overcome their hubris and took the threat too lightly, and as a result, it was over before it truly began. Things might have been different, or perhaps much worse, if they had used chaos magic and the hex powers of Scarlet Warlock. Another thing to note is how their creation was not intended in the first place, originally meant for only Wolverine's adamantium skeleton, to combine with Magneto's body to enhance her. The accident fused all present mutants. Hex powers almost always go wrong, like the time Scarlet Witch's magic created her twin sons, then the one where she went out of control and attacked the Avengers. The entire House of M event was just Scarlet Witch's power as well. I feel that could be a compelling reason why Brother Mutant lost the way they did. Marvelous Verse. Honestly, I always had an interest in looking up odd and unique characters such as the Weapon H cameo in issue number 86, and The Exiles is a great series for creating such stories. As such, I was intrigued by Brother Mutant as a child, and always wondered why they lost the fight even with such power. I guess we can only hope the creatives at Marvel pick them up again, and put on a new spin on their fate. What I wouldn't give to see a crazy event like the House of M, but with Brother Mutant leading a multiverse worth of bubs taking out everything in their path. See you next time, and if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe.